What is going on guys, JT Gilly back with another video. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're playing a game called Draconius Go. It's a game very similar to Pokemon Go, except it has a lot of stuff that we really, really want in Pokemon Go, like PVP, random chests, daily quests, stuff like that. It's got a whole bunch of stuff, and it's a really interesting and overall well put together game. As we all know, nothing is confirmed for November. After this Halloween event is over, we really have nothing to do in November up until Gen 3 releases in December, so now is the perfect time to play Draconius Go. I just want to start off by saying this is a sponsored video, but I started playing this game before I was even offered to do this. So this game is actually interesting, and I really encourage you guys to stick around, watch the gameplay, and see how you guys like it yourselves. Draconius Go is available on iOS and Android, so if you guys want to download it, I'll leave the links in the description. It's available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. If you guys like what you see and are interested, make sure to download the game. I encourage you guys to play it, try it out. But anyways, let's start playing Draconius Go, and let's start adventuring. Okay, so I have the game open right here, and as you guys can see, there's a ton of pillars of abundance. Those are the Pokestops of this game, and there's a ton of them. As you guys see, there's one right here. I'm gonna spin it. Pillar of abundance right here, let me spin that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, we got an egg, a few spheres, and some XP, so that was really, really cool. Again, the pillars of abundance are the Pokestops of this game. Now, as you guys can see, the map is very, very similar to Pokemon Go, except for the fact that if I open Pokemon Go, there would not be this many stops on the map. As you guys can see, this game literally has tons and tons of stops. They also have things called obelisks and libraries, which I'll get into in a little bit. Something I really, really like about this game is that there's tons of opportunities to catch these creatures. As you guys know, there's not a lot of stops in Pokemon Go, uh, especially for a real player, but if you're a real player and you play this, there's definitely a lot of chances to catch some creatures. I literally have a spawn point on my house, and I haven't had that in months in Pokemon Go. So this game is really, really good for real players. And Honestly, if you're in a city, it's even better. It's almost just as balanced, and there's a lot of, like I said, opportunities to catch these creatures, so you can catch them at these pillars. You can throw up a pheromone, which is like the incense of this game, and I'm telling you, there's a lot of opportunity to catch creatures in this game. It's very, very awesome. Now, as I said earlier, I do have a lot of these creatures. I've been playing this game a lot on my own off camera, and I have a lot of these creatures. As you can see, the nearby is freaking filled. I don't have this guy right though. Oh, he's right over there. So as you can see, there is like the same kind of nearby aspect of this game, and it's really simple. And there's Actually, one thing that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit where you can filter the nearby. Now, I'll get to that in a little bit, but yes, you can literally track any creature you want, and it's really, really cool. I like this aspect of this game, and the creatures look awesome. Let me show you guys some of the ones I have right now. So, let me open up my little creature tab, and oh my gosh, dude, some of these are really, really cool. I'll show you guys my favorites, but I'm gonna show you some ones I caught earlier today. I caught Axelon, which is really, really cool, and one thing I wanna talk about is that these creatures look interesting as all hell. They're very, very colorful, they're very unique, and I've honestly these names are awesome too. Some of them are really they're a little weird I'm not I'm gonna be honest. They're not like regular names like this guy is called potty Definitely a little weird, but it's still something really interesting. It's something different, which is nice Then we got ink. I think incubus right here that I caught earlier another axelon and then a dummy ween This is probably one of my favorites dummy ween is like a Halloween pumpkin Mummy kind of type thing and there's it shows a lot of things it shows strength health HP, candies, essence, which essence is kind of like the starters in this game, and the candies in this game are called stones. But I have to say my favorite creature I have is Leviathan. This guy looks like a freaking beast. I really like how this guy looks, and it it looks so nice. Like The graphics in this game are really, really advanced. When I, sh when I catch a creature, I definitely want to show you guys what it looks like in AR, because it's really, really nice. They did a lot of good stuff with how this game looks. It's very aesthetic to the eye. Now let me go back in my bag, and I'm gonna go show you guys what the pheromones are. Like I said, this is the incense of this game, but it spawns creatures depending on the day of the week. Now let me pop this one really quick. I'm gonna pop that and it's gonna spawn a creature any second now. Let's see where are we spawning. Today's Friday, so they're gonna spawn the Arcana type creature. And here we go, we got our first one ever. I oh, do I have this? Oh, I've been I don't think I have this. Snailin. Alright, this guy doesn't look like a really rare one because he's only got 10 CP. But Snailin, here he is. As you guys can see right here, it does look similar to Pokemon Go. It looks really, really cool though. The little sphere is really, really cool. I like how that looks. It shows the CP and the background is different. I really like how the background is. I'm going to put it in an AR really quick and show you guys what this looks like. Tell me that doesn't look awesome. It really, really looks nice. The AR in this game is very, like, it's like top notch. AR. They really Pokemon Go really needs to catch up in terms of AR catching. Let me catch them in AR for you guys. Catching creatures in this game are pretty freaking hard. Okay, I, I actually hit him right there. So let me catch him. I think what's this guy called? Snail Eye? Something like that. I gotta get used to the names. We threw a sphere at him. Let's see if we can get him. One, two, three. Let's go. We got him. I, I think he's gonna get added to the bestiary, which is like the Pokedex of this game. Uh, yep, new in the bestiary. Let's go. We got what's his name again? Snailin. 
I don't know, but it's a brand new creature. Very, very awesome right there. Let's throw him in the bestiary. Snailin, okay, I was correct. So we got Snailin right there. We got some essence for catching him. We got some uh, stones for catching him. So it's very, very awesome. And we leveled up, new level 11. We got 15 spheres, I think some potions and whatnot. So that's very, very awesome. Let's go, man. We got level 11 already. So we're definitely, oh, we got another creature right here. Who is this? Who is this? Leaf, leaflet? All right, let me go out of AR. Leaflet, yo. Oh my gosh, I told you I'm not really good at this. Leaflet, let's try to catch, okay, this is gonna be tough. Come on, leaflet, I need your help here. There we, oh, we got a good, okay, I got a good on the leaflet. They're really hard to catch, creatures are really hard to catch in this game in general, honestly. So, you gotta, you gotta get used to it, you gotta get used to it. But I like that it's difficult. Two, three, let's go, we got leaflet down. That's another, I think that's, yeah, new in the BC here, yo. This has been a successful adventure already. We already got two brand new creatures in the BC area. Very happy about that, let's go. My camera accidentally died right there, but really quickly, as I put the camera down, I got a Shamurf spawn. This guy was huge on the screen. He's only 29 CP though, but he looks, that is quite an interesting creature. He's got like a cane that's a rose, and he's got like some really pointy ears and, and uh, eyebrows, and he's got a banana peel on his head, but he's a coconut. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, the creatures in this game are pretty interesting, but I, I really suck at catching, I really do. I'm sure it's easier than how I, Wow, all right, I gotta catch this guy. Let me catch him really quick, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I got a good, that was that was, that was was difficult. I wasted like five balls. You guys should have seen my catch earlier. I was trying to catch this one uh, creature. I forgot the name, but I threw like 15 balls. It just wouldn't go down, and boom, let's go. I'm pretty sure, do I have them already? Or is that, three brand new creatures in the beast theory. That's absolutely awesome. Let's go, this guy, what was it called, Shamurf? The creature, yeah, Shamurf, let's go. All right, so we got another creature in the beast area. that's awesome. So now I'm gonna talk about something in this game that's really, really cool called artifacts. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my character model, click on him, and as you can see, I can like add stuff on my character. And you, probably, you guys are probably wondering, like, what is that? And as you guys see right here, there's a little tab called artifacts. Artifacts are things you can put on your character, like equip it to him, and it's really, really cool. I'm telling you guys, one of these aspects are very, very awesome. If you go to artifacts right here, it says totems of second vision. What that is, is that it takes weak creatures off the radar now Pokemon Go has been out for about a year now and they've never had a good filtering system of the nearby there's always weak stuff on the nearby and it's annoying to see and like I wish you could filter it this game has that it has exactly that you got a totem right here which we're gonna go equip right now you go to character you click here and the totem of second vision they also look really really cool all these artifacts are cool I'll also equip the uh, let's see uh, let's oh let's equip the cocoon for the mother of dragons for sure all right, so we got the totem on. What that does is that takes weak creatures off the radar. Now let's go see our radar. We have it equipped. Now the only, wow, now the only stuff on our radar is really, really good stuff. And uh-oh, we got another spawn. All right, I'm telling you guys, hands down, this is probably my favorite of all creatures. This is Barry Dillo. This guy is literally a watermelon and like a seed. It, it's it's pretty like interesting, like I said. Very, very cool here. We're gonna catch him real quick, but yes, it, it takes the weak creatures off the nearby and that's very awesome. All right, so now that I did buy a pheromone and an artifact, I definitely wanna go back and buy some more. I got a lot of coins for this game. The stuff in this game is really, really cool, but they're a little bit overpriced. We'll talk about that later in this video, but yes, uh, where are the artifacts? Oh, right here. Okay, you go to the artifact and then you scroll down, down, down. Where is the totem of second vision? I'm gonna buy that really quick. Takes weak creatures off the nearby. Oh my gosh, so good. Definitely wanna replace that. Such a great aspect to this game. Now that we caught a lot of creatures and added some in the BC area and explained a lot of stuff, let's go to an obelisk and I'll talk about all of that right now. So the obelisk is pretty much like a place where you can get your daily quest from and that's something that needs to happen in Pokemon Go. I'm telling you, daily quest is an incentive to keep people going. I'm gonna click on my get a quest right here and there we go, territory control, collect taxes from the captured arenas, quest progress zero of 12 and this is you have 21 hours to do the quest. Now this is so good because it gives people an incentive to keep going out and keep doing rewards, keep doing quests, stuff like that, and you get rewards from doing these quests that are actually really good. And I just wanna say, if Pokemon Go has some kind of daily rewards or daily challenges, it would definitely be very, very interesting. That is one aspect of this game that I really, really enjoy. It really gives you an incentive to go out and do stuff because the rewards you get from this are really good. But like I was saying, the rewards include lures, and there's four different types of lures in this game. There's three that are similar to Pokemon Go, and there's one that increases the uh, essence or the stardust in this game, so it's very, very cool. You, you literally get a stardust lure, which is awesome, and those are rewards for doing daily quests. You don't have to, you don't have to buy them from the shop. They're lures you can literally get from doing the daily quests, and that's really, really, that's such a good idea. Not sure why Pokemon Go hasn't done that yet. 
It's a feature I really, really like, and you can literally get a lure for just doing a daily quest. It's such a good idea, such a good incentive to play, and I, it's definitely something I'll do often. Alrighty, so we're driving right now, and we actually pulled up to a library. This is a library of blue beetles. I'm gonna post up with Leviathan. Can we get in this? Let's go! We posted up with Leviathan. He's now in the gym. Official JT Gilly level 11. If you guys are in the area, area, make sure to pop up in here. Make sure to join the red team, though. We're red team over here. We're not team Valor, but we're red team. I don't know, I don't know the actual name for it, but we're red team there is no yellow team unfortunately of course i'd love to be in the yellow team but it was either red or blue and mystic they're just not team mystic people have just been very mean to the team mystic people and i'm not not really a fan so again if i find a chest i'll definitely include a clip of it but if not these chests are like like random spawns and you click on them and it opens and it had drops like random items and they're really really good things in the chest you can find are like a temporary buff a magic rune and there's like a really really rare drop that is artifacts now the artifacts are some of the stuff that we used earlier kind of like the totem artifact that we use to uh, filter the nearby that's a really really rare drop you can get from the chest but the chests have some really really good stuff and that's one thing i've always wanted in pokemon go i've always wanted something like that in Pokemon Go. I just wanted something where like a, a chest would spawn or like a crate or something like that and you open it and you get like items or maybe a Pokemon sometimes. I thought it would have been perfect for the Halloween event. Maybe you like you click on a pumpkin and something comes out. I don't know but this game did it perfectly. The chest drops some really really cool stuff. You can get some really rare stuff like the artifact. So it's a lot of it's, it's like it's like really it's like fun. It's like a game. It's a game in a game every time you play. It's really really fun. But that was just a short little clip, and again, if I get a chest, I will definitely record it. But if not, this is going to be it for this clip. Okay, now we were at another red light, and I had my game open, and here is Earbat. This is the most intro uh, maybe not. I think, uh, what was that What was that one's name? Potty. Smear Muff? Smear Puff? Something like that. I'm positive this will be new in the BC area also. I really don't believe I... Oh, wait, no, I think I do have one of these. I, I actually think I do have one of these. Do I? Yeah, I, I do. Okay, that's what I thought. Earbat right there. What? What? Did he just did he just kiss his ears? Okay, I don't know what's going on anymore. Can we please get a chest? I just want a chest. I want to show you guys what this chest looks like because they're really cool. I've opened a few. Not obviously not today, but I've opened a few in the past and they're really, really cool. You get a literally a temporary buff of like stuff and it's just, ah, oh, come on. Chest somewhere. Nowhere. Ah, but hey, a lot of pillars around, a lot of libraries, a lot of obelisks. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys. What I was going to do. Oh, what the hell? Fire. Okay, we gotta, let's fight this guy. Uh, let's fight him with... Uh, shoot, uh, Hippo Fly. Okay, so this next clip was supposed to be of me talking, I was gonna do a PvP battle right now, but we got a wild encounter. So in this game, there's like random wild encounters, and they're actually really, really fun. And the way to battle in this game is actually the uh, tap and swipe system, so it's pretty similar to Pokemon Go. But yeah, you can get like bat random battle encounters, and it's really, really cool. I really like that aspect of this game. Um, it's like... It's just really random and it's really fun. I don't know, every time I open my game, I seem to get into an encounter and it's fun. Uh, we haven't run into anyone like really, like or any creature that was like really good, but like there's definitely some pretty cool creatures and I don't, I really honestly couldn't tell you if you get them after be defeating them or something like that. It says well, the wild monster has been defeated. You get some XP, you get some essence. I'm positive I don't have this creature. That's, that's, I think that's, I think for sure. Well, anyways, we defeated him, and we got some XP, some essence, and whatnot, so that was cool. That was not supposed to be how this clip opened, but I had a feeling something was going to happen, so I wanted to make sure I was ready. All right, now we're going to do exactly what I said we were going to do. We're going to open our menu, go to Duel of Wizards, which is, again, like the PvP, and you get three battle limits a day, so it's pretty cool. You can battle often if you like. Now, I'm assuming we're going to run into someone way better than us, and I don't know how I feel about that, but we're going to go in anyways. And uh, let's go in with this squad right here. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm not, not, I'm not, you know what? Let me heal. Let me heal. <laughs> just in case we run into someone really good, I do want to heal them some, somewhat, you know, just so we're well prepared. But let's go in, searching for an opponent for a duel. I actually really like this process. Very simple and it happens really quickly. Oh, this is a dub. He's got a 295 CP. We're going to win our first PvP battle right here, boys. I can't, I'm not even going to do my charge move. I'm just going to beat him like this. Yo. Oh, wait, there's oh, there's a whole battle, huh? Whoops. Okay, my bad. My bad. So, yeah, I think his, his creatures are only going to get worse from here because, obviously, his highest one was a starting. Honestly, you don't even... I, I don't even need a dodge because this guy is so weak. But this is really, really cool. I like how this PvP works. I mean, I definitely... I really wished uh, it was more... I wish the PvP system was more complicated than tap and swipe and dodge and all that, but it's definitely a really cool system, and it's fun regardless. All right, we just took out Eri right there. And we won the game, our victory. We got, we, we won, we didn't lose any creatures. We got 1,400 experience and 800 Stardust. Yo, 
Imagine that in Pokemon Go. So good. I, I really like the dual wizard system. We're going to battle again. We might as well get three in. We'll, we'll battle until we lose. We got three. Let's try not to lose. We're playing Lilybug. Oh, that's the dub, baby. <laughs> I'm, I'm too good. I'm too good. We got to battle this right here. We're chilling. And we could probably get another dub. I wonder what happens when you get three wins. I wonder if you get like a special award for getting wins in a row or something like that. But we're obviously just destroying everyone we run into. This is very... Very, it's fun. I honestly like, like, this is smooth. There's no lag. I don't want to jinx it, but like, I'm not lagging at all. It looks nice. There's no, uh, okay, there's a little bit of lag, unless that was his move. Oh, he's got a Hell Sailor? Okay. Yeah, but I, like, I'm not lagging. This is really smooth. Nothing wrong with it. I don't, like, I'm, I'm not like, not, I'm not like dodging a move and still getting hit. Like, that's not happening. I, this is, they did pretty good on this. I'm actually really impressed. I've never done PvP before, so this is pretty cool. And we got another dub right there. Again, my god, I forgot his name, but he's going off. 1400 experience, 800 uh, essence. And we leveled up to level 12, baby. Let's go. Okay, let's get it, man. We got to level 12. Let's do one more duel of wizards. The rewards in this, the rewards for doing this is really cool. This is like an easy way to get essence, which is awesome. Now, oh, Bajun, that's his name. Let me heal him up because this guy's a freaking monster. Just in case we run into someone good, it's going to be our lineup. Really hoping. No, you know what? I gotta go in with someone fun. I gotta go in with someone fun. Let's go in with... You gotta go in with the Barry Dillo. That's game. If we run into anyone. Could we please get a good dub here? Mmm. Okay, come on. Ah, that's an easy win again! Yo! <laughs> this guy's actually kind of a beast. He's doing a good amount of damage. Not as good as, uh... Uh... Bor Borax or whatever, something like that. I forgot his name. Not as good as him, that cat with the umbrella. But, uh, this hippo flies. Kind of nice. All right, we just took down Hot Bear. Tiger Man. Wow, I want that. That's a cool one. That is actually a cool creature. I kind of want that one. The colors in this game, like, I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but the colors in this game are really, really nice. I really like the graphics overall. I think they did a really good job in this game. There's a lot of good things they did, but at the same time, there's a lot of things they could also improve on, and I'm only going to critique it here at the end, but I'm not going to really get into it. just going to be like, like a basic overview, overview of the game. Uh, down goes Tiger Man. Whoa, this guy's got a... Weird lineup. Like, it's got... His creatures are out of order. If, if you know what I mean? Like, I think he started with a lower CP than this. Um, I... I don't know if we're gonna be able to survive this one, boys. He used Thunder? Jeez! Oh, no. No! We actually... No, wait. Never mind. He just used a move. I thought we actually died. Alright, we're taking down this guy now. Gar... Gar drag. Oh, no! But he might go down. He's got 600. Is, this, is that his last creature? No! Uh-oh. Storm die. I'm gonna need some help, baby. He's, oh, he's got, he's got this, oh, he's got it too, he's got the little, he's got the little discs too, let me use my charged move, or, uh, I don't even know what the correct term is, but it is a, technically a charged move, regardless of how you want to say it, oh no, he used explosion, I feel like that's way too good, get dodged, get dodged, alright, now I'm gonna finish him off, get out of here, get out of here, guard drag, guard drag, and, yes, is that it? He can't have any more, okay, thank you, guys. that's a lot, alright, so we ended up losing Bajun and Hippofly, and I think that actually lowered our experience and our our essence. So the rewards, I believe, um, they you, you do better if you stay alive and you beat them faster, I think. So we got three dubs in a row. And as you can see, we are not able to do another one. We need to wait 20 hours. You can do three battles a day. Very, very cool aspect to the game. And I actually really, really like that. As you can see, if you try to battle again, what happens? You have reached the limit of battles. You can also buy... Uh, the, you can increase your battle limit to 7, which is also really cool, per, uh, per day, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, let's talk about this game overall, Draconius Go. What I really like about it is that it's got a lot of features and it runs smoothly. Not once have I lagged out or experienced any lag. It runs very smoothly. There's P the PvP is really, really good. I thought it'd be a little choppy, I'm not gonna lie. I'd be like, I don't know how this is gonna go, I hope this goes well. It actually went really, really well. Uh, the catching is... is Okay, the catching is really hard in this game. Maybe they can fix that a little bit. It's really difficult to catch because you've got to kind of throw a lot farther than than regular. Uh, so that's that's kind of one thing. Um, that's one thing that I wasn't really wasn't really feeling. I wasted a lot of spheres trying to catch some creatures. Also, I think this menu is kind of clustered. I mean, it's kind of got a cool feeling to it, but like I think it's a little much. It's like a little overwhelming. There's too many options. Like I would have been I would have been pleased with it just saying. Duel of Wizards, uh, Creatures, Bestiary, Bag, and then like Shop in the Bag or something like that. I don't know. It's just, 
it seems like a little bit much, but I guess it is a good thing because it means there's a lot of aspects to this game, but I don't want there to be too many aspects. I'm not I'm not 100% familiar with the magic aspect of this game, like all the runes and stuff like that. So I got to get into that also, but that's something I got to learn. I think um, if they had a tutorial kind of thing for this game, it's just something to like, you know, tell everyone what these things do. I think it would help a lot. Uh, but overall... I honestly enjoyed this game. Like I said, I played this before I was even offered to do this. So, like, this was actually, like, really, really cool. This is fun for me. Um, and this is definitely a game. If you guys want to play it again, click the links in the description. Go download them on iOS and Android. We most likely have a month until nothing happens for Pokemon Go. So, if you guys want to download this game, play it. Let me know how you like it in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. More Pokemon Go videos coming very, very soon. And again, shout out to everyone at Draconius Go. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I really enjoyed it. Again, if you guys want to download it, click the link in the description. I'll see you guys later. Deuces.